I welcome you all. In this video, we will discuss about the construction of cycloid. The highlights are clear explanation, step by step drawing practice, animation. The question is draw a cycloid given the diameter of the generating circle as 50 millimeter. Also, draw a tangent and normal to any point on the curve. So, this is a solution. At the end of the video, we will uh, clearly understand how to draw this in step by step practice. First, let us discuss about the definition of cycloid. Second, we will construct the cycloid in step by step drawing practice using animation. Lastly, we will see the practical applications of cycloid. Definition of cycloid. A cycloid is a curve generated by a point on the circumference of a circle as the circle rolls along a straight line without slipping. The rolling circle is called the generating circle. The line along which it rolls is called the directing line or baseline. Point A may be called the generating point. Now, the line AA is called as the directing line or baseline. The circle is called as the generating circle. The point A on the circumference of the generating circle is called the generating point. Now, let us have a circle that is the generating circle rolling along a straight line without slipping. If it rolls one complete revolution, what is the path traced by the point A? Let us see an animation. Now, the point A is touching the baseline. After 30 degrees of roll, the point A moves up. After 60 degrees of roll, the point A again moves up. So, the point A keeps on moving up till half the revolution of the circle. After half the revolution, when the circle rolls, the point A moves down and after one complete revolution, the point A comes back and touches the baseline. So, this path traced by the point A on the circumference of a circle is called cycloid. So, a cycloid is a curve generated by a point on the circumference of a circle as the circle rolls along a straight line without slipping. So, this is all about the definition of cycloid. Next, we will see how to construct a cycloid in step by step drawing practice. So, the question is draw a cycloid given the diameter of the generating circle as 50 millimeter. Also, draw a tangent and normal to any point on the curve. Given generating circle of diameter 50 millimeter. Take a A3 sheet, draw margins on all four sides, write the question number. In the bottom right corner, write all dimensions are in millimeter. Now, the given data is generating circle diameter equal to 50 millimeter. Now, draw a horizontal line of length 50 millimeter. Mark end point and also the other end point. Measure the midpoint that is the center point O 25 millimeter from either ends. So, I have drawn a horizontal line of length 50 millimeter. I have marked the center point 25 millimeter from both ends and I am giving the lettering point O for the center point. Using a compass, center point O radius 25 millimeter draw a circle. Take a protractor with reference line passing through O and reference point is O. Draw a or mark a point on the circumference at an angle 90 degrees. Now, using a scale, draw a vertical line. This line cuts the circumference on other end. Mark that point. This point is your point A, the generating point. 
Now, the circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r equal to 2 into pi into 25 millimeter. It is equal to 157.07 millimeter approximately equal to 157 millimeter. So, take a scale, draw a line of length 157 millimeter, mark the point A. Now, A A length is equal to 157 millimeter which is equal to the circumference of the circle. Now, this length A A is equal to 2 pi r equal to 157 millimeter. Now, again take a protractor, draw a perpendicular line through A. Now, through the point O, draw a center line and this line cuts the line perpendicular line through A at a point O. Now, again center point O, radius 25 millimeter, draw a circle of diameter 50 millimeter, radius 25 millimeter. Now, I have drawn two circles on the left side and on the right side. On the left side, it is a start point of the circle. After rolling one complete revolution, the circle comes to the right side position. Okay. Now, to draw the curve between A, A, I require some points. I may go for 8 points or I may go for 12 points. It depends upon the time and the size. So, here because we have time, we will go for 12 points. So, in between A, A, we will try to mark 12 points to draw a smooth curve. Okay. So, because I want 12 points, I will divide the circle into 12 parts and the line A, A, the circumference length also into 12 parts. Okay. So, I am just marking the 4 end points here of the next circle. Now, take a protractor. Now, because I am dividing this circle into 12 equal parts, 360 by 12 is 30 degrees. So, measure angles 30, 60, 90, 120, 150 using the protractor. So, 30, 60, 90 is there, 120, 150 and 180 is there. So, I have divided the semicircle into 6 parts. Okay. Take a scale, join the 30 degree angle point and O and extend it. This cuts the other end of the circumference at a point. Similarly, take a scale from the 60 degree angle point, draw a line passing through O. This cuts the circumference on the other side, mark that point. Similarly, from the 120 degree angle point, draw a line passing through O. This meets the circumference on other end, mark that point. Similarly, from the 150 degree angle point, draw a line passing through O. It cuts the circumference of the circle on the other end, mark that point. Now, lettering in the anti-clockwise direction from A. Point 1, point 2, point 3, point 4, point 5, point 6, point 7, point 8, point 9, point 10, point 11 and the last point is A. So, thereby, I have divided the circle into 12 equal parts. That is, all the uh, sectors are having an angle of 30 degrees. Okay. Now, divide the other circle also. Again, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 is there, 120, 150 and 180 is there. Again, the same procedure. From the 30 degree angle point, join O, mark a point here. 60 degree angle point, draw a line here through O, join, allocate this point. And again, from 120 degree angle point, draw a line, it... Uh, cuts the circumference on other end, mark that point and again from the 150 degree angle point, draw a line, it passes through O, locate this point. Lettering again in the anti-clockwise direction starting from A, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 10, 11 and last point is A. Okay. So, here I have divided the base circle, the generating circle into 12 equal parts. Next, let me divide the circumference length A A into 12 equal parts. Take a scale, draw an inclined line, any angle, any angle, but the uh, number of parts required is 12 equal parts. Okay. So, take a scale, draw a line 120 millimeter. So, then mark the point 1 10 millimeter away from A, 
mark the point 2 20 mm away from A, mark the point 3 30 mm away from A, mark the point 4 40 mm away from A, mark the point 5 50 mm away from A, mark the point 6 60 mm away from A, mark the point 7 70 mm away from A, mark the point 8 80 mm away from A, mark the point 9 90 mm away from A, mark the point 10 100 mm away from A, mark the point 11 110 mm away from A, mark the last point 12th point 120 mm from A. I have marked here 12 points because I want to divide AA into 12 parts. Okay. Now remove the scale. Now using a scale, join the last point 12 and the point A using a scale by a straight line. Okay. Now to this line 12A, draw parallel lines from 11. So again take a scale, from 11 draw a parallel line. So this line, this line must be parallel to 12A, 11, 11 line must be parallel to 12A. Okay. Similarly, taking a scale from 10 draw parallel line, it cuts the base line at a point 10. From 9, it cuts the base line at 9. Similarly, from 8, draw parallel line, from uh, 7, draw parallel line, from 6, draw parallel line, from 5, draw parallel line, from 4, draw parallel line, from 3, draw a parallel line, mark the point as 3, from 2, draw a parallel line, and lastly, from the point 1, draw a parallel line, it cuts the base line at 1. So, here, I have divided the line AA 157 millimeter into 12 equal parts by geometrical construction. So, A to 1 length is equal to 1 to 2 equal to 2 to 3 equal to 3 to 4 equal to 4 to 5 equal to 5 to 6 equal to 6 to 7 equal to 7 to 8 equal to 8 to 9 equal to 9 to 10 equal to 10 to 11 equal to 11 to A. So, thereby using geometrical construction, I have divided the line into 12 equal parts. Next. From the point 1 on the baseline, draw a vertical line. This vertical line cuts the line of centers, that is OO line at a point. Mark that point as O1. This is the first center. Okay. From the point 2 on the baseline, draw a perpendicular line. It cuts the OO line of centers at a point O2. Similarly, from 3, draw a vertical line. It cuts the line of centers at O3. From 4, draw a vertical line, it cuts the line of centers at O4. From 5, draw a vertical line, it cuts the line of centers at O5. Similarly, from 6, draw a line, mark the point as O6. From 7, draw a line, vertical line, it cuts the line of centers at O7. From 8, draw a vertical line, it cuts the line of centers at O8. From 9, draw a vertical line, it cuts the line of centers at O9. From 10, draw a vertical line, it cuts the line of centers at O10. From 11, draw a vertical line, it cuts the line of centers at O11 and the last point is O. So, here on the line of centers, I have 12 center points O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6, O7, O8, O9, O10, O11 and O. Okay. Now, next one, I must draw the height of the point A after each part of revolution where the point A will be above the baseline. Therefore, I am now trying to draw horizontal lines from 11 this passes through 1. Similarly, the same line also touches the point 11 and point 1 on the other circle. Correct. Similarly, draw horizontal lines from 10. This also passes through 2. Then 9 and 3 is already there. The line is already there. Again, draw horizontal line from 8 and 4. That line will pass through 8 and 4 also. Okay. If your drawing is perfect, you have drawn with full skills. The line will pass through 11 and 1, 10 and 2, 9 and 3, 8 and 4. Similarly, draw horizontal lines from 7 and 5 and also from 6 to 6. So, I have drawn the height of the point A after each part of revolution where the height will be. Now, I know the center points. I know the height of the point A after each part of revolution. Now, take your compass. Okay, measure the radius of the base circle that is generating circle. It is equal to 25 millimeter. Okay. So, take a compass. Radius is 25 millimeter. 
it is equal to the radius of the generating circle okay again i repeat radius is 25 mm take a compass measure that length in your compass now center point as o1 cut an arc on the line passing through 1 okay mark that point as a1 similarly center point is o2 now point o2 is center point radius 25 mm cut an arc it cuts the line passing through 2 at a2 similarly center point is o3 radius is 25 mm cut an arc on the line passing through 3 mark that point as a3 next center point is o4 cut the line passing through 4 at the point a4 again center point as o5 radius 25 mm cut the line passing through 5 at the point a5 next center point o6 radius is 25 mm cut the line passing through 6 mark the point as a6 next center point o7 radius 25 mm cut the line passing through 7 now here the most important thing is still a6 that is a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 i was cutting the arc on the left side now because the point a is moving now towards the other side from now onwards from the point uh, uh, a7 onwards i will cut the arc on the right side it's the most important thing okay now so center point is o7 radius is 25 mm draw an arc cutting the line passing through 7 and mark this point as a7 okay next center point is o8 radius 25 mm cut the line passing through 8 and mark the point as a8 next center point o9 radius 25 mm cut the line passing through 9 and mark the point as a9 next center point o10 radius 25 mm cut the line passing through 10 and uh, mark the point as a10 next center point o11 radius 25 mm cut the line passing through 11 mark the point as a11 and the last point is a touching the baseline you can see here the point a at the start point was touching the baseline it went up up to half the revolution it came down and again the point a is touching the baseline so it has completed one complete revolution now try to draw and join all these points by a smooth curve now if you find that all your points are joined in a smooth curve you can draw it darkly now first darken the generating circle then darken the curve traced by the point a so this curve is called as the cycloid okay now the question has two parts you are asked to draw the cycloid and also to locate the or draw the tangent and normal at any point p on the curve okay let me locate the point p on the curve so this point is my point on the curve to this point i have to draw a normal and tangent so again take a compass center point is p radius 25 millimeter the radius of the generating circle cut the line of centers the line o o line at a point e okay from e draw a vertical line this line cuts the base line at the point n join n and p this is your normal normal line to the point p again take your protractor and draw a perpendicular line to the normal and this line is your tangent so mp line is tangent np line is normal okay then show dimensions of the circle here the dimension is diameter is 50 millimeter and the name of the curve is cycloid so this is your complete answer I wish that it is clear to you the construction part okay now lastly practical applications of cycloid cycloid is used in the design of profiles of gear tooth system conveyor for mold boxes in foundry shops commonly used in kinematics and in mechanism that work with rolling contact so this is the end of the video thank you uh, wish you all the best